Okay, so currently, <laughs> there's just a nigga yelling in the corner, right? Because as you can see, again, in the right-hand corner, Blicky up walkthrough, blow it up gameplay, two lead up let's play. Or whatever I normally say. But yeah, I got another one. And I, obviously I showed y'all how I get them, so I did the same thing. And I ran back into the apartment, and I guess because the niggas was shooting... Oh, he, I guess he left. I was about to say, this stupid ass nigga ran in the apartment. And then obviously, as you can see, I finally went and I got some new clothes. And I got a bunch of them. <clears throat> also, I don't really know if it'll... Well, no, it still will. I think I did every single um drug bust. Now, it says... Because I, I looked it up, and it says that there's 19. But I'm wondering if maybe they cut one of them out in the definitive edition. Or if they... uh Or maybe I'm going to unlock it later on in the game. Or... Cause as we did, I just said as we did. As y'all seen in the in the uh, when we did the the police case, you have to do one of these. So maybe, cause when I counted them out, there were supposed to be 19. So maybe that was the 19th one, and they just like, it doesn't pop up. It it doesn't count it as a camera hack. I I, I don't know. But either way, there's no drug busts on the map at all. So maybe something's gonna pop up later, or I don't even know. Oh, and, and, with doing the drug bust, we got like $10,000 per drug bust, so I got a couple more bucks, and I got some cop upgrades, I got five of them, and I waited for y'all. Okay, good, I might need this since I like to steal guns. Um, um slow motion follow-up, I don't know if I need that. Re action check, reduced heat. Um... Waking out into slow motion aiming. I feel like I seen Berlizzi say this when he played this game, but when am I ever gonna gonna be able to do this? Like there's they don't the game doesn't put you in this many situations where you can where this is actually useful. Um Firearms have slightly reduced recoil. Let's get that one. Slow motion, awesome. Yeah, let's get that one too. Yo, y'all wanna hear something crazy? Did y'all know this fucking game came out 10 years ago? I've never felt more like an old ass nigga in my life. And I mean, I'm not that old. This shit came out when I was 10, but still, 10 fucking years? And I guess I just really, I, I really like this game and I always remember playing it. I'm playing it now, but I just, like, to think about the fact that this game came out 10 years ago, it really just reinforces the fact that my little sister keeps calling me old. Nigga, y'all wanna hear something really disrespectful? She called me- we're gonna start the mission in a minute. She called me old the other day, cause first of all, it's fucking crazy. She doesn't know who Lil Bow Wow is. And I guess he's more from my generation, so I, I know him because like- like, And this is kinda fucked up, but whenever I think of Lil Bow Wow, I think of that video of him telling that nigga, and now I'm gonna have to smack that ass. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I don't even think he go by Lil Bow Wow no more. It's just Bow Wow. But she doesn't know who Bow Wow is, so I'm explaining to her, and I'm trying to think of like some more relevant shit that she would know him for. So I'm trying to say like he was the latest host on 106 and Park. Nigga, she knows what 106 and Park is, but she's like, <coughs> used to watch 106 and Park. You're old. Fuck out of here, nigga. <laughs> that was how we watched him. That was how we. Got, that was how we got music back in the day. All right. We didn't always have iPhones and iTunes and all this other newfangled technology you niggas got to listen to to listen to music and steal music. Nigga, I had to walk my ass home after school and watch Lil Wayne rap about being a fireman on TV to hear, to hear my songs. I didn't have a phone. <laughs> Mind you, this is an 04, or not an 04, but this isn't like oh something. So phones and shit is out. I'm just, I'm just saying like the idea of just it being a bunch of music videos playing to one time on TV is crazy to her, cause she don't even watch TV now, cause you don't, you, you don't have to. I don't, I don't watch TV now, and I get it. And low key, I didn't even really like. I fucked with 106 and Park, but like I would rather just like somebody. You know how like they have like the Sirius XM channels where like you could just it'll just play like a random theme of music. I would rather you put that on and then like play it loud throughout the house and then like I clean as opposed to me just sitting down watching music videos. 
but I did fuck with a couple music videos. That's how I found a lot of my favorite songs, and that's also how I figured out about one of the best battle rappers in the fucking world, Blind Fury, nigga. You niggas want to sit here and praise Helen Keller? That bitch was racist, nigga. Blind Fury was a blind nigga on on BET rapping, so you know he wasn't racist. It's black entertainment television. He with the black people, rapping, rapping his ass off. Shout out Blind Fury. Uh, excuse me, do you speak English? I like to think so. Not enough to get by anyways. You? Yeah, I... Wait, what do you mean? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I speak English. I kind of guess. What can I do for you? I'm looking for this place. Old Temple Academy? I thought it was around here. It's supposed to be a kung fu school, but I'm totally lost. <laughs> I have no sense of direction. Yeah, I... I think I know where it is. I mean, it's not too far. I, I can give you a ride. <laughs> I mean, it'll be easier than explaining where it is. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that'd that be really great. My name's Amanda, by the way, or Amy. Either one is fine. Oh, nice to meet you, Amy. I'm way. Hmm. Yeah. Them old jokes are funny when I when I tell my dad he's old, but I don't be liking when my little sister tell me I'm old. <laughs> I, but I but that shit was kind of funny because it makes you reflect. And I mean I guess Chinese. she's right because like when the fuck why would she know about 106 and Park? You gotta think about that. And I mean she knew what I was talking about. She knew enough about it to to call me old for knowing what it for watching it. But think about it. Why would she know who that is? And technically, not to be disrespectful, but why would she know who Lil Bow Wow is? Like a lot of shit, she doesn't. She didn't know who Dipset was. She don't. Like, no. I don't think she knows who Lil no, Mama I, uh, is. I, just I don't think she knows about Lil Mama hopping on stage with Jay Z. Like, there's yeah. a, just a bunch of shit that Figuring I know about. And keep in mind, I don't even think I was alive for some of this shit. But just, you know, I just like older music and shit. So I, I went back and looked for it. But nigga, I'm not old. Fuck that. 106 and Park is a staple. I don't give a fuck. Well, I've only been traveling for a few weeks, so no real progress in the life front. Look at this nigga trying to flirt. But Shorty I'm said, take me to the old temple. This nigga trying to take her on a tour to so see. this is the Bam Bam Club. Back home, I saw a restaurant that looked a little bit like this. <laughs> well, uh, let the locals hear you say that. Cultural appropriation. But I'm checking out Hong Kong for a while. What about you? You got it all figured out? I wouldn't say that. Uh, I got 12 o'clock. Shorty, he was, he was you a real nigga, and I got it on Maybe once that's dealt with, I'll get, get on to figuring out life. Why do they oh, always yeah? fucking do that? Stop taking my gun from me. Well, the trick to Hong Kong is learning to live by ancient Chinese my fault, my wisdom. Fault, my fault. Look both ways Damn. before crossing the street. Y'all know exactly always what I was gonna do too. Belt, and only apply makeup at red lights. Don't text and drive. You know, that kind of thing. Words to live by. Wow. This, he throwing this the badass jokes. This is a pretty cool jokes. place for a kung fu school. I'm hating. Fortunately, the school isn't in the temple. Well, not that temple, anyway. Didn't they use this temple as a backdrop for, what was it, Fists of Carnage? I think that's racist. No, it was used in the Grandfathers of the Shaolin Fist. See, and she got the movie wrong. Racism. Oh hey, but now we can, uh, never mind, actually. I don't even want to say it. A nigga, I barely crashed the bike. Hop off my sack. Whoa. What are you doing? Okay, that's the handbrake button. I was just playing GTA. I got the handbrake buttons mixed up. My fault. My fault. Isn't this school supposed to be in a temple? It is. It's just an underground one. We UGK. UGT, underground temple, bitch. Come on, get with the program. Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to sign up for some kung fu classes. I read about your school in my guidebook. Ah, uh, your guidebook. Yeah, it said you teach a style with a long lineage, but in spite of all that, it's still considered very effective. You want to take classes, okay. And you, did you also read about this place in some book? Well, I... How the well, fuck are you being so standoffish? I know you. Do you? Yes, Sifu. I owe you some money? Oh. I used to be your student. I'm Wei. Wei Shen. Ah, yes. The one who went to America. 
So you brought this girl back with you. Uh, your skill level with girls, very good. Now time to assess your skill level in Kung Fu. Uh, she like him, she ain't even say no. I'm about to, I'm about to beat the f fucking shit out you niggas in here. Oh. My fault. I got a little excited. Uh, 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 nigga, come on. My fault. Stop by if you want to learn more lessons. I see time in America. That's the one thing I don't miss about these fucking karate lessons. It's old ass ponytail rocking bitch in the background just talking shit. Shorty, look at me. I'm a nigga that can protect you. Look at me beating up all these fucking children. All these 17 year olds. <laughs> at the local at the local YMCA. <laughs> niggas taking kung fu at the Y. <laughs> nigga had a real martial artist come in here beating the shit out these niggas. I just I just sack tapped that nigga. Yo, imagine you send your kid to the free YMCA class, right? A nigga come home with a broken nose and a concussion. I try to steer them in the right direction, especially the younger ones. By letting a grown nigga come into class and beat on them? That's you steering them in the right direction? But they all want to be Song Ong Yi. I would too. If I gotta come to this fucking bum ass underground dojo to get my fucking ass kicked every day by a grown nigga, cause guess what? You see how many of them statues we? Oh well, y'all never mind. Y'all don't even know about that. Let me stop before I before I no. start spoiling some shit. But no, we're coming back here. Is what I'm trying to get at. Heart. Try to teach some compassion and discretion, and pray for the best. See, if I don't think there's much more you can do. Yeah. For real. Oh, Jade Rat. The Song Dynasty, right? Very good. The Song Dynasty? That's like a thousand years like old. Like Brendan them? That's real. Is that is that a, is that a fucked up joke to make? Oh, I'm sorry. One for each animal of the Chinese calendar. The Sifu. You used to have the whole set. What happened to the others? Stolen by a former student, corrupted by the triads. I'm so sorry to hear that, Sifu. So was I. This collection meant a lot to me. But sometimes you just have to let things go. I should close up. It was good to see you again, Wei. And your lovely fiance. What? <laughs> okay, uh, that was fun. What do you want to do now? Uh, I need to get home, but uh, I will definitely call you later. Feel me? Still pulling it with the dried up blood on my tank top. You feel me? She seen how I put all them 17 year old niggas the fuck down. She was like, yeah, I need a nigga like that in my life. A nigga that I could put down a, you know, a, a decently sized teenage kid. <laughs> teenage kid. <laughs> a reward is gained. Amanda's phone number. <laughs> Park the truck in disguise in front of the whoop de whoop de whoop de whoop. All right, um, no, nah. because I, I like getting these upgrades like witch all, so I figured we just gonna I do found one right of your now. statues. Oh. We gonna have to do this eight but times, dog. by the way. Excellent. I must confess, I was surprised to see you back. I had hoped that you might have escaped Hong Kong, escaped its influences, its problems. We took them with us when we left, so coming back didn't change much. Are you ready to confront them now? Yes, I think so. What would you like to learn? Actually, now that I'm seeing how long this might take, I, I don't know if this would be good. Because, like, I want to get these together, right? But it's also kind of like you want to make good content. So it's kind of like, and I don't think that... Because, like, I got shit to talk about, but I don't think that sitting here watching me do this for that long is, is that fun, you know? Or that funny, rather. Like... But, I don't know, look, we'll do two, and then, yeah, I guess I'll do these shits like the patrols, I'll do like two per, uh, two per, two per video, and then we'll, uh, 
until we run out. And then we gotta, cause the last three, you can't even unlock them until like, one of them you gotta wait for a specific mission and then it shows up at a certain place and then the other two are just in missions. So I, I think that'd be cool, we could do it like that. Cause it ain't like these shits are really like, you feel me? I feel like in Bully, them fighting moves really helped you. Like on this game, you kinda could just like spam X and then, and then make sure you tap Y. Look at this old ass nigga hating. Old people always want to think they knowing what the fucking problem is. <clears throat> you know how many times my mom told me I was too busy focusing on my Xbox and that's why my grades is bad. <clears throat> nigga, my grades is bad because I don't. I'm high. <laughs> I'm high in class, not paying attention. And I'm depressed. You talking about the Xbox? I'm not even on that shit no more. I'm not even on that shit no more. I'm fucking with drugs now. <laughs> You talking about it's the video games, nigga? I'm in this room high, sleeping. I don't give a, give a fuck about give a fuck about this math homework or that Xbox, nigga. Okay, so look, what I'm we gonna do the the case next time? Cause I like I fuck with the cases and I'm gonna get them done, but I ain't gonna lie, I'm not gonna go out of my way. Like I'm I'm gonna do them, but I'm gonna. Because you have to finish this pop star lead three thing, so I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll find a way to work it out. You feel me? Maybe, 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 maybe we do like how am I gonna do this actually? I don't know. Maybe well, I, I, I guess I, I'll figure it out along the way. But I'm doing these fight clubs on my own, so then when I get back, I'm gonna have higher face level, and then like I'm gonna do the same thing with the favors, but I am gonna do. The Wheels of Fury shit, we doing that together. We're doing the island thing together and the other two DLCs together. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do Club Bam Bam next and then we'll do that, probably this one next time. And then it'll probably be like, so maybe it'll be one statue per video or maybe two, I don't know, we'll work it out, but it'll probably be like one of these, one of these, and then I'll see how many of these I, these I could do. <clears throat> Feel me? Really working shit out in real time. I found one of your statues. The balls. Come on now. Just I'm a fish, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? I promised myself I wouldn't train members of the triads anymore. How that you know good I'm a triad? for one's karma. What makes you think I'm in the triads? Right. Don't lie to me. If there are things you can't reveal, don't. But never lie. <laughs> How do we talk about the things I can't reveal? We don't need to. I knew you well once. Don't believe people change that much. Well, I appreciate your faith. Well, that's the thing. I wasn't talking what about the thing like I couldn't reveal. <clears throat> you just told me that I was something, and I asked you, what makes you think that I'm that? I didn't lie. I, I just asked you a question. I didn't, say I, I didn't say I was or I wasn't. Nigga told me I was a thing. And then I'm asking you, what makes you think that? And then nigga gave me a, a don't lie to me. I fucked up, my fault. Oh. <laughs> that nigga said more! <laughs> Bitch! Mm -hmm. Got it right that time. Come on. Bring me another one. Have you learned nothing? <clears throat> Bitch! Oh my goodness. Imagine, imagine you the nigga in the middle, you just seen your friend get kicked in the fucking face. <laughs> you like, I'm gonna have to fight this nigga next. Or I'm, or I'm gonna have to fight this nigga next week. Your left wing. Bitch! Come on. Your other Bitch! Left. Nigga, you not ready? You not ready for me, nigga? Left from right. Mm. Mm. Nigga, you not fucking ready for me. Mm. Oh, that's mm. awful. Mm. Nigga. Please fuck you talking about, Timmy? Again, you I told you, nigga. I told you, nigga. I told you that. I told you last practice I was in this bitch. Tell your mom I need some more of them cupcakes next practice. Fuck wrong with you. Thought I was playing? <laughs> it's just funny to me to think that these niggas are all like. <laughs> these niggas all got high school the next day. I'm fighting a grown nigga. Because he found a statue somewhere. And don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure that these, like. At least I would hope. I would hope that they didn't just take a bunch of, like. <clears throat> random ambiguous shit and then try and tie it into the actual Chinese culture like I really hope that all of this shit is somehow actually tied into some 
into Hong Kong culture and Chinese culture. So I'm not trying to be disrespectful by saying random statues, but because they probably they probably do mean something a lot to, to Sifu. Or I call that nigga Sifu to to the sensei and to 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 the um to if they're real, they probably do mean a lot to people. But you get what I'm saying. Like it's just funny that a 16 year old got to get booted in the mouth, nigga, because I found something somewhere. Wait, get over here now. What's going on, Winston? It's Benny, manager of Club Bam Bam, old friend of mine. Now he's working for Dog Eyes. That Ham Gatan is getting back at us for taking his minibus route. Look, I'll go talk to Benny, make him see reason. Yeah. Yeah, wait, you go do that. Yeah, so, he doesn't have facial hair. I don't know why I just noticed that. Nick, bro, grown niggas with no facial hair. I don't know why. It's just because, like, the mu you don't have a mustache? Like, how do you not have a mustache? I don't know why. That shit just always kind of rubs me the wrong way. But, that's something that I, I, I just seen. Bro, apparently, this nigga, and I, I have so many, like, I, I have, like, three different things written down about this. But, apparently, the nigga Kanye went on, like, and I forget, because I think he was on Clubhouse saying something about Meek Mill. And I forget if this was on Clubhouse, if he said this too, or if he, or if he, if he was somewhere else. Are you right? gonna let me in? But you know how shit, you know how you know shit is getting bad. They don't even got this nigga on platforms where you can see his face now. Like, it, like at least with the Alex Jones shit, which I didn't watch that because never the fuck am I tuning into some shit with Alex Jones on it, nigga. I don't give a fuck if it ain't on his platform. I, I cause I didn't see him on some other people's shit, and I'm like, I'm not finna watch it. He still owes some niggas some money. Go pay them people. You on the internet saying all that stupid ass shit. But they don't even, they, this nigga's on like Discord calls and, and like Zoom and all this and, and fucking in, 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 in Clubhouse saying all this stupid ass shit. Like that's how you know shit getting bad. This nigga is going from platform to platform to platform to platform. But it's not in a good way. He going from like nigga CNN, Piers Morgan, and I'm not, pray, I'm not trying to say that. I'm not trying to say that I hold those people to a higher standard, but you have to admit that a nigga going from Tucker Carlson on the news to the motherfucking clubhouse is crazy. I see some shit that looked like the nigga was in like a Discord call or something. I forget what the app was. I think it was like Rumble or, or something that, that Sneeko and them be on, but... Or like a Twitch, he was, he was in something. Something to where it's like, bro, like, why do niggas keep giving him somewhere to talk about some shit? And why does he keep going? Like, just just buckle down somewhere do and figure out whatever you gotta figure out, bro. Cause you can't, even if you really do agree with all of this shit. And, not, and I'm not saying, and I'm saying from Kanye's perspective, even if he really does feel all of this shit, cause I think that he thinks all of the shit that he's saying is sane. You have to be sensible enough to see the backlash and all the shit that you're getting from it, and the fact that nigga, you can't go back on drink champs now. You nigga. Man, Nori, I, man, I don't know. I was finna say I was light up a crack rock, but I don't even know if niggas still have crack. But if Nori has that nigga on drink champs now, bro, I fucked up. I got money, don't worry. I'm sure we can work something out. You make a good point. Have a good night, sir. Damn, I can't even get my. Okay, yeah. I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm <clears throat> I don't give a fuck. I'm I'm not you're not, uh, no I'm, I'm passing that. I'm passing that. Are you going to let me in? What do you think you're doing? I'm passing that. I got a message from Dog Eyes. You want to tell him you that. sent me away? Dog I'm eyes. passing oh, that. Oh, sorry, of course. Come on in, sir. Look at you. You such a fucking dick eater. Dog Eyes. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, let me, let me shove this dick a little further in my mouth. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Come in, sir. Fuck out of here. That stupid ass. Oh, never mind. I tried to swing on that nigga again. That stupid ass tight ass t-shirt on my nigga. You niggas is XLs wearing mediums, bro. Go a size up. It'll be okay. Bitches is still gonna know you big. <laughs> Why do all the buff niggas always wanna let you know they buff? God damn, bro. Cause like nigga, we could tell like you didn't need to get this medium on the shirt, my nigga. Like hey, I could clearly yeah, see this nigga's a lot bigger than I am. What's going on in there? This is one of the best karaoke rooms in the city. Nobody gets in without a hostess or the boss's approval. I'm sure we can work something out. Work something out with the hostess. Nah, I ain't say that, nigga. Watch this. What are you talking about? Whoa. Timothy. Hey. Yo, Shade. I'm Tiffany. Nice to meet you. 
I'm wet. You got a mirror Wait, in your chef. pocket? You're a karaoke oh, hostess, right? Let me let him handle this. Can you get me into the VIP room? Sure. Just come with me. I mean, he's one bad dude. Feel me? You have a bit of an accent. Are you from around here? Yeah, oh, originally, but Beach, you know, you know I was that. in the States for a long time. You know oh, that. that's so cool. You I know that? You see me, player? So, uh, Bitch ass nigga Benny? Move. Benny? <laughs> you mean the manager? Fuck what you yeah. talking about? Like Benny's I won nice him. nice enough. He always makes sure you get paid on time. Oh, that's good. Cool. <laughs> I don't work for that <laughs> nigga, so. Sing me a song. Um. I'm an Alabama. <laughs> And I want to be free. <laughs> oh my god. The fact that I make jokes like that is why I have to keep telling you niggas that I'm black. Because y'all can't see me. So I have to keep letting you know I'm black. Saying all this shit. And I say nigga a lot too. Oh, I forgot. I completely censored out the music. So y'all can't even hear this. Breaking rocks in the hot sun. I fought the law in the law. I left my baby and it feels so good. I guess my race is run. She's the best girl that I've ever had. I fought the law in the law one. I fought the law in the no no no. I fought the law and the law won. 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 This whole song is about this nigga not paying a speeding ticket or something crazy. I fought the law and the turner. Wow, you're actually really good. Thank you. Listen, you know, I like it down here, but back home, I'm used to a little more. You'd be the person I'd talk to about that, right? By the way, niggas can't never say I don't ever go to my, I don't I don't ever go out of my way for this entertainment shit, for this content shit. I just sang to you niggas. I just serenaded you niggas because I can't play songs. I just serenaded you niggas. I just serenaded you niggas. I just serenaded you niggas. What a bro, I'm like Trey Songz yes, in this motherfucker. I just sang to you niggas. Nicer up there. Go ahead to the lounge upstairs. I'll get the room set up. All right, bitch, you don't gotta scream. I'm right here. But thank you. It's pop against you. Bye, way. Bye. Put a little pep in my step, as my mama would say. How do y'all parents know when y'all when y'all finna ask for something? Cause Ooh, my mama hey, know whenever I call her mama. Who the fuck are you? I'm my looking mama. for Benny. <laughs> hey, Benny. Favor. Yeah. Some guy here wants to talk to you. Hey, hey. What can I do for you? I have a message from an old friend, Winston Chu. What, 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 Winston? What that? This isn't such a good idea. I think you should leave. He wants you to know that Dog Eyes isn't your problem anymore. If he gives you any trouble, you let Winston know, and I'll take care of it personally. You heard that, man. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all had the only nigga. You, you thought I was gonna think he was tough because it's the first nigga with facial hair. Look what I'm about to do to him. This little, this little fucking dumbass mustache. You thought this nigga was about to hurt somebody? Fuck out of here. Look at this. Do that nigga in a fish tank, nigga. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Kitty nigga. You see what I'm about to do? <laughs> Bitch. Bitch! I'm gonna get disrespectful, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna get disrespectful. Nope, you going right along with this dumb man. You talking about, whoa, yep. That's what you talking about. Right over the rail with his stupid ass. Do that again, please. I beg of thee. Hey, 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 my brother. My brother, in case you didn't know, I just want to guess where you're going. Oh, you bitch. That is Benny, not what I was going to do. Out here. Benny, I know you're in there. Oh, 
but yeah, I don't even really think I finished my point from earlier. Basically, this nigga got on uh, somewhere and said that Rosa Parks was a was a plant, which is very stupid and wrong and not the case at all. And I'm not trying to justify what he was saying, because that's not at all the truth, right? The only way I can, and I don't want to say I think I know what he was talking about, because either way, it's not the right thing. But just, and I guess you know what, just completely off of this, because this doesn't even have to be attached to Kanye. I guess just a little black history fact. Apparently, and I've heard this before, but I guess it was just kind of reaffirmed after I heard it again today, and they looked it up on the podcast. Um, apparently, there was a, a, a lady that did the exact same thing that Rosa Parks did. She had said that um, that she wasn't going to give up her seat for a white man or a, a white somebody in a, in a time that that's when you, that's what you had to do. And she was a 15-year-old uh, uh, pregnant woman, and I'm forgetting her name right now. I don't, I'm not saying that to be disrespectful, so I hope that doesn't come across rude. I'm just blanking on her name right now, but they said that, I guess that was the first recorded instance of that, that it happened before Rosa Parks. So I'm saying all that to say that he's still wrong in his sentiments, because even if, like, the only way his statement would be right is if, let's say that story that I just told y'all, and not to say story like, like it's just a story, but let's say that shit that I just told y'all, right? But instead of them saying like giving her her credit because if you look up that story you'll find the girl's name if they would just said that rosa parks did that because at least it's like she would am i am i explaining this the right way because rosa parks still said that i'm not giving up my seat you feel me if she didn't do that and the only recorded instance of it was the other girl and they just said it was rosa parks then yeah that would make her a plant but she's not a plant her story just got a little bit more traction which is why I said the statement I said earlier, which is why does this nigga keep going places and just saying shit? And why do niggas keep letting him? And I guess you can't control who get in a clubhouse call, but like... And I don't even know if that's what was, that was where this was. It's just like, bro, it's just sad watching the nigga that you grew up listening to. And I don't know. I don't really believe in like the astrological science shit, but I do kind of feel like I relate a little bit to more more to like Gemini's and like just Gemini Fuck rappers guy. and shit like that like I really fuck with Andre 3000 I fuck with Kendrick I fuck with I can't even really say the last nigga no more cause we was just talking about him and I don't really think I fuck with him now but I don't know man not to sound too much like a cornball but and J. Cole is not corny so I'm not saying he is but I just feel like quoting rappers or quoting rap lyrics sometimes is kind of corny but more and more the shit that I'm seeing about him it kind of it kind of reaffirms that J. Cole line and false prophets while the world's edging him on I'm begging him to stop it playing his old shit knowing he can't talk it. false prophets shit's sad yo going from George Bush hates black people to I can't even repeat, look, this nigga about to get booted in his shit. I can't even repeat some of the shit that Kanye was saying, though. But going from saying that to what he was saying, it kind of feels like what's about to happen to this man. God damn, I'm good with transitions. Benny, I'm not going to kill you. Okay. Just listen. Okay. What do you want? Just what I said. Winston wants to be your friend. And what about dark eyes? Not your problem. I hope you're right. For my sake. Can I go now? Of course you can, Benny. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get the fuck out of here. This shit took a little bit longer than I thought it was. Um, well, hold on, because I think there might be something after this. And I got another shorty phone number. I'm that man. Okay. Damn, because I was going to see if it would give me some time, and I was just going to give my little speech now, but I'll, I'll wait. Er, you know what? Actually, I'm going to pause it, and then... Yeah, because no matter what, it's going to take the time. So, y'all niggas have a good day doing whatever the fuck you got to do. Go get some money. Go get some paper. Tell the people that you love that you love them. Go watch... I hope this isn't racist to say, but go watch Rush Hour. Just because the first time I seen that movie was in Spanish class in summer school. So, fun fact about me. Um, go listen to... Let's see what the last thing I was listening to was. 
Um, go listen to Eighth Wonder of the World by Babytron. Shitty Boys Militia. Dog shit mafia. I'm out this bitch. Bye. Conroy's still watching me. He's got a real hard on. Is your cover compromised? Well, you haven't fished me out of the harbor yet. All right. How are you doing? How am I doing? <laughs> Fuck, Raymond. Where do I start? There's a civil war brewing in the sun on Yi. Winston and Dog Eyes escalated practically every day. Don't you read my fucking reports? I mean, you personally. How are you doing? <laughs> Look, Raymond. I gotta get back. Your state of mind is important, Way. It's important to me, it's important to how you do your job. Fuck you! I do my job just fine! Well, that's for me to decide! You mean Pendrew? Pendrew assigned me as your controller. And listen, Way. Pendrew may not be concerned about you, but I am. I know you have a personal stake here, but this cannot be a vendetta. We're cops. <laughs> there are rules. You're a cop. I'm an undercover cop. The rules are different. And you're fucking concerned about me? You are an officer of the law, Way. Same as me. We are not the same. You understand? We done? Yeah, we're done.